testing out the color gamut coverage of the display. It measured in at 92.9% sRGB coverage and 65.4% Adobe RGB coverage and 68.4% DCI P3 coverage. Let's test out the maximum luminance or the brightness of a display. Now I'm gonna use my XYI1 display tool to help me with the measurements. And the measurement that we need to take note of is this one here called current. It is measured in candle per square meter and one candle per square meter equals one nit of brightness. So I'm gonna bring the display brightness to its maximum and it is currently reading at 312 candle per square meter. So that's 312 nit of brightness. So this is reaching its 300 rated brightness, which is fantastic. And now to help the photographers and videographers, we're gonna try and reach that 100 to 120 candle per screen, which is what we uh, recommended. So I'm just gonna bring this all the way back down to zero increment. I'm gonna bring it to five increments. One, two, three, four, five. We're looking at 75. Six is, so increment six, you're looking at 103. So you can start off that, and that is the value of 60 if you're looking at uh, display values. And I'm just gonna bring it up to try and find 120 if you're looking at 120. So 65 is 118 candle per square meter. So let's do 66. And we're looking at 120 per square meter here, which is great. And that is at 66 value. So it can even be at 60 value. We'll get you at 103. Let's bring it down to 59 just to see what it is. And it's 99 just to let you know. Now, I hope you find this interesting or useful. If you did, smack that like just to help my channel out. So the screen has been calibrated using the XRI i1 display tool. So we're just gonna have a look at the display on the color calibration of the display. So this is at a factory before the calibration, and this is after calibration. So I can definitely see straight away after calibration, the display has gone a little bit more warmer and definitely has gone a lot more magenta as well. So this is out of factory and after calibration. So I'm just gonna go down to color and we can see this. So this is out of factory and after calibration. So it definitely looks a lot better in terms of that. Again, out of factory, after calibration, and definitely I can see a little bit more magenta for sure. That's helping that out as well. I'm just gonna go down all the way to black and white. So mid-tones, this is before the calibration, after calibration. And I'll just do high key as well, before calibration, after calibration. So this is for black and white. And I might just do one more here, here which is Pascal. So before calibration, after calibration. Definitely can see it's gone a lot more lighter. If you're working with colors, I would definitely be looking at a calibration tool to help yourself out. On the bottom right hand corner of the computer is the garage pen. It's just a matter of flicking the pen out and then you can pull the Lenovo pen out. When the pen is stored or garage in the laptop, it does recharge the battery of the pen. The uh, batteries is integrated into the pen. There is no separate batteries, you can't replace it. So, but you don't have to worry about it much because when it's stored in, it does recharge the battery, which is a fantastic, nice feature. The pen does have two buttons on the side and these can be configured in the Lenovo Pen Settings application. Now the actual sizing of the pen, it is quite long, is what I feel, but it is also quite thin as well. But then again, because it's thin, it's also because it's garaged in. But I will definitely easily sacrifice thickness um, because you can have this and pull this pen out anytime, anywhere when you need it, rather than having to go find or lose these pens. In the Lenovo Pen Settings application, which you download from the Microsoft Store, you can then configure the two buttons on the pen. So I'll just have a quick scroll here so you can actually have see what functions you can do for the buttons. And of course, 
down the second button will be the exact same as well. Now you can also change the sensitivity of the pen tip of course and on the top right hand you can also see how much battery is on charge for this pen but it's very rarely that you will see you need to worry about having to charge the pen. Let's do the line or jetty test. First off I'm just going to do some slow diagonal lines. Uh, bear in mind I am not a digital artist in any form so I'm just going to do my best to do this. So far it's actually looking pretty good, I'm going to say, for my own eyes. Alright, I'll just do one more. And we'll do some quick ones up here. And I'm just going to bring in a microfiber cloth for those who to simulate the people who actually do use uh, gloves to help them out. Doing this very slowly as much as I can. I'm doing actually pretty good in my lines today. And I'm also going to bring in our ruler in here to give us a chance. And now I'm going to have no hands on the display to see how it goes. And I'm going to put one hand on the display, touching the display and using the ruler. Still more, sorry, I just got it caught on the hinge there. Now I'm going to have two hands on the display and my palm as well. Let's see how that reacts. It's doing all right. So I'm going to do some swirls now. All right here. Now the Lenovo pen is also pressure sensitive, so I'm just going to actually perform this. It is 4,092, so soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard. So you can see that, and we're just going to see the parallax as well. It's actually pretty quick, actually, I've got to say, there's not much lag or parallax to the display. I've got to pretty admit, that's pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed on the responsiveness on this, for sure. So it does feel like I'm writing. So I'm also going to do some handwriting so you can see what it looks like. I did perform the benchmarks for this particular X13 Yoga. Now this one is configured with an i5 10310U processor with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 SSD hard drive. And I'll put up the scores for Passmark, Citibench R15 and R20, PC Mark 10, Crystal Disk Mark, Geekbench and Spec View Pref. The Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Yoga, I must say, I really do like the Garage Pen, and I was actually very surprising how well the pen support was, and especially with when it did the line jitter test, that was quite good, and there's not really any lag parallax on the pen and the screen, so that was a really nice improvement they've done to it, and I've got to say, the build construction of this is still extremely well, very, very rugged, uh, very durable as well, and of course it's got the good famous thick pad keyboard which I love typing on and the display does extreme well I think this display has really a nice overall package to the X13 and the performance is there as well and as for the heat wise it is a little bit running hot but when you actually run not too bad in terms of speed wise you won't be actually feel the hotness especially when you're in tablet mode so I've got to say overall generally 
this computer, I can easily recommend this Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Yoga. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, or just to support my channel, smack that like button. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button bottom right hand screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.